Yeah. So a lot of people have been asking me if they should go into graphic designing or not, if it is really profitable or not. And based on your experience so far, what do you say? What do you tell these people? Is it profitable? Is it something that they should venture into or they should just ignore it? What do you have to tell them? Okay, graphic design is a profitable skill that okay. once acquired and once acquired and you have the right knowledge, you would be able to get a lot from it. Now, the people that don't make so much from graphic design are people that, number one, they they have not learned very well. They are not good with their craft. They don't they don't really understand graphic design. So sometimes their designs are not very attractive to compel people to come to them. That's number one. Number two, number one. they don't know how to price their services. They don't know how to place value on their designs. So even though they can they are good, some of them are good, they can create design, but they don't know how to name their price. I think it's one of the problem of many um growing expert they don't know how much to charge for their design so they feel that they are inferior they don't know how to charge now let me tell you a little um give you a little tip on how to charge for your service now okay before now i used to charge as low as 500 naira for one design one flyer what is that? All right, 500 naira. 500 naira is just small money if you know what 500 naira is in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, that. Very, very small. All right, you know, but as time goes on, you see, in life, you understand that as, as, as you grow in life, your responsibilities will increase. Now, you as must it. factor all that into your billing. All right. Now, a person, that's why graphic designs, um, graphic designers, their prices vary. Their prices generally in the world, it's not the same. One can charge five hundred naira. Another for for that same service can charge five thousand naira. Another person can charge ten thousand naira. Another person can charge fifty thousand naira. Another person can charge hundred thousand naira for the same flyer design. So it varies. Wow. And this is about your personal growth. And if you are a designer who is just a beginner, you have not learned anything. You are just growing, and you want to charge, for example, ten thousand naira for one flyer design. You will be there. Nobody will patronize you because <laughs> your level have not got to that point where they can trust you to pay that kind of money. All right. Okay. So it's, it's about it's about brand perception. So now I can charge ten thousand for one flyer design because I know that I have reached that level and I can I will increase it very soon. I'm not have reached that level and I don't look at your feelings when I charge you because I know I have responsibility. I have to take care of myself. I have to pay my ass rent. So some some of these graphic designers that are just coming up, they don't have bills to pay. They don't have responsibilities. Some of them they still with their parents. Some of them they they are still mommy's boys and mommy girls. So they don't know what what's called bills. They don't know that they are paying bills. So because of that, they they are afraid to charge. They are, wow. they are scared to charge. That can influence how you charge. The responsibility that you carry as a person can influence how you charge. You must factor in the food that you're going to eat to do that work to be alive. You must factor in the resources that you're going to get to browse online to download resources. The fact that you're getting free resources, downloading free resources That's everywhere, doesn't mean that it's free. Those things you call free resources are paid for. If you're going to be paying legitimately for those things, you know how much those things cost, you'll be shocked. So you need to factor all those things in so that when you are charging for your service, you are charging very, very well. Another thing is brand perception. The reason why people don't, don't pay graphic designers very well and look at this not lucrative thing is because they have perceived your brand as a brand that is cheap. As a wow. brand that is, they, they cannot pay money. So when you are billing them and telling them pay five thousand, they look at you and like, which kind of five thousand? I'll give you two thousand a job. It's not flyer design, quick flyer design. Because they have looked at you as somebody that cannot be paid more. But if you pr present yourself very well, all right. Look at my profile picture on social media. You will see my suit there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Organize yourself very well, package yourself very well so that when people come to your DM to talk about money and you tell them that this is going to cost 100,000 naira, they are not going to be pricing you anyhow because you have really positioned yourself as a person of authority. So, the problem of whether to go into graphic design or that is a lucrative one is this because of the people's perception about it. Graphic design is highly lucrative.
I mean, it's highly lucrative. You can earn, wow. you can make a living with graphic design. All you need to do is number one, like I said, work on your brand perception, work on your skill, upgrade yourself every day, learn, improve yourself, and put yourself out there. Post your designs on social media. Tell people what to do. And don't be afraid when you want to charge for your service and charge based on your level. At the time I told you I was charging 500, I increased it to 2,000. Yes. And again, I increased it to 3,000. And then I later I thought that, wow, the responsibility becoming much. My data service now is no longer 1,000. I'm not paying more for data, sometimes 6,000, sometimes more. So if I'm paying more, that means I should be getting more money. I have to increase my price to 5,000. After increasing to 5,000, I thought for a time that, well, even all these small, small graphic designers, they don't know anything. The ones that I've taught, they are charging 5,000 too. So why would I be staying in 5,000? So I have to increase it to 6,000, later 7,000. Now I'm charging 10,000 there. And I will increase it very soon. Now, why am I doing that? Because I am developing myself, I'm working on myself, I'm gaining, okay. I'm gaining more um, influence and authority. So I'm no longer in the way I was in 2020. That is why my price must not be the same. Some of you, your price have been the same for the past five years. You have been charging one particular thing. The price of things in Nigeria, for example, is going up, always going up. What you used to buy? 10,000 era in 2020. Now, currently, that thing is 20,000 or 40,000 or even more. So, why would my price be the same? So, it means that you need to work on yourself, develop yourself, and increase your price and give value for your service for the money that you are giving. So, it's very lucrative. Just start it's with and learn wow. with and price wow. with. Know about money and how to sell yourself. That's all. Wow, wow, wow.